I am a changed man. <laughs> okay, I'm not, I'm not a man, of course. I'm still a teenager, whatever. But, um, so, this week I had the guts to, okay, so yeah, it's, it was Valentine's Day two days ago. Um, and there was a thing going on at the school where, um, they were selling, like, roses at, um, for three dollars each, and you can, like, choose to deliver, uh, who to, to the, to, oh my god, you can choose who to deliver the rose to, and apparently they sold out, right, so you can get it for, like, your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever, or people you like secretly, that's what I did, um, but they sold out, and then they started selling, like, um, flowers from, like, a garden club or something, I'm not exactly sure where they're from, I'm assuming it's, like, gardening club, um, and, like, yeah, they're, like, flowers in the pot, so that's nice. Um, I, I bought one, and sent one to my crush, and thankfully, they do, um, send it to the third period, and I'm in her third period, so I kind of got to see her reaction, um, I didn't get to see her face, just, like, the, yeah, sadly, um, and, like, then, people started talking about, like, garden grams, and then, like, my group asked each other, like, did anyone get anyone garden grams? And I just stayed silent, and I was like, <laughs> like, okay, uh, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> um, they didn't, none of them got anyone garden grams or rose grams or whatever. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then <laughs> I, I had to act like it was normal. You know? And actually, when the day finished, I was walking to the band room. And I saw her, and we made a tie, right? And, um, okay, the funny thing is, the people who are at the booth selling the, um, garden grams, um, two of them knew the person I like. And you had to write down their name, right? One of them knew me, but two of them knew the person I like. One of them knew both. Um, so, <laughs> the person who knew both was walking in front of me, right? And then when I walked past them, because they stopped walking, uh, the person I like and the person who knows, I heard her saying, like, I know who it is. And I, I was, in the inside, I was just, like, bursting into tears, like, it, like in a good way, like, laughing. Like, it was hilarious. It's so ironic. It, like, <laughs> I'm walking past them, and they have... <laughs> and, like, the person who knows, knows that it's me behind her. And that, like, they're talking about me in the record. And I'm walking by them when they're talking about, like, Oh my god, I don't know who this guy is. Who couldn't like me? Oh my god. It, it's just so, like, hilarious in my mind. It, yeah. <laughs> uh, so that happens. Um, so, I guess, like, I see things a lot differently right now. Because, like, I don't know. I wrote in this, uh, outline, the script thing, uh, talk about being in a pseudo-relationship. I'm not. She doesn't know it's me at all, I think. Um, so, it's a lot different. Now I know, like, alright, I'm going to have, like, it's a 100% fact that I will confess at some point. Um... And unlike before I sent it, where it's just like, I might confess, maybe then, maybe later. You know, oh my god, it's been four minutes, I'm not even, it's been four minutes, I'm not even done yet. Um, so the intro, um, and for the person who knows me and her, uh, um, if you haven't told her, thank you. I, I'm pretty sure you haven't told her, because she hasn't, like, come, came up to me and talked to me or anything, or out of the ordinary. Or, like, she hasn't acted differently. So I'm assuming that she still doesn't know. So, if you're watching this, for whatever reason, don't know why it would be. But, uh, if you are, thank you. Yeah, I, right now, I have a plan for this relationship. Okay, that was, that was weirdly put. It's not, like, a plan for the relationship. It's a plan for, like, when I would like to start the relationship. 
which is, like, not this year. I'm going to start it, like, maybe right before summer. But I, I don't know. It just can't be in junior year. Um, because there's reasons or whatever. Yeah, so... Okay, 520 in. Why I quit running. First and foremost, I do not have any hate towards Casper Valley Track Club, the, like, track, cross-country, anything like that. No hate. The only reason why I quit or, like, had to do with me alone and my tastes and what was happening to me, not at all the sport. Or, like, yeah, no. So, okay. So there are some big reasons why I quit, because, like, running was part of my life. I mean, it is still, I guess. Um, yeah. I mean, would you put it that way? Would you say it is or was? Because you say was, and it's like, you had a life, and now you changed your life, which I guess that's not true. Versus, like, is, it's like, this is your still current life, you know? I'm 16, and I was running for, like, seven Maybe eight years, so it's like half my life I've been running. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's part, it's part of my life, sure. We'll just say that. It's part of, it was a big part of my life. It was not at all an easy decision to make. Um, yeah, so, there are big reasons. First off, like, I, throughout the day at school or doing whatever, I'd, like, constantly think about, like, what the practice was going to be like, or, like, how the meets are going to go. Meet is, like, a, like, football game, but, like, for track or cross-country. It's a competition. We call it a meet instead of a game. Um, for those who don't know. The same thing, like, swimming and other racing events. I'm, I'm sure, like, horse racing is probably the same thing. I don't know about, like, NASCAR or anything, but whatever. NASCAR meet, NASCAR race, probably race, uh, whatever. Um, like, yeah, just, I would just sit in class and be like, oh, wait, I have practice today. Oh, no, it's Tuesday. That means, oh, that means speed work. I'm gonna die out there. <laughs> you know, and this, I constantly was stressing about running. And, like, my goals constantly stress me out, too. Like, alright, I'm gonna have to improve throughout the season, or else I won't, like, have any good results, you know? Stuff like that. It, yeah. Um, really the second biggest thing was injuries. Um, I had a good amount of injuries. The biggest one being calf cramps. I also had, like, pulling muscles, I think, and, like, knee pain. And I don't even know what else. Like, there's a lot. But the big one's chaff cramps. Does that put put me out of commission for a while? Like, huh. I couldn't... I was scared to go to my last nationals. Um, nationals is like a competition. No, though. Um, so, in Castor Valley Track Club, like, we're part of the USATF, USA Track and Field Organization, whatever. And we have clubs from all over the country, Right. And essentially what it is, like, there's normal meets throughout the year, and then at some point, or in part, um, normal meets throughout the season. And at the end of the season, you're going, there's like a string, like kind of like a tournament thing, I guess. Not, okay, not a tournament tournament, but it's the idea of a tournament, I guess. It's, it takes like, for cross country, top 30 runners, okay, like there's a meet, called the sectionals, like, a section of the country, or, not country, state, or, maybe not even state, like, no, no, section of the state, right? So you take a section of the state, and, or no, they put a section of the region, region of the entire country, right? And they take all the track clubs, and they put them into one event, and the top 30 kids for for each event for their age group and their gender and their race or like event as in race or whatever it is i guess it could be like shot put or turtle i don't know whatever top 30 at least for running for cross country move on 
um, the track is different. I think it's like top five for each gender and um, group. Like, if you're from like nine to 11 years old, I don't think that's actually one. I think it's like eight to 10. I, I forget. Um, yeah, so then like there's going to be five representatives for the 100 meter dash for the boys, eight to 10 year olds. Then there's another five for them to 12 year olds, eight or uh, boys. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's region. That oh, sorry, that's sectionals. It takes section of the, the region. Regionals is taking the, the people who moved on from sectionals, putting them all against each other, taking again the top thirty. Um, top thirty of the event or for cross country, top thirty. They move on to nationals, which is the entire country. Um, nationals is always fun. I've gone like three times, maybe. I think at least twice for cross country. I think one of the times was for yeah, one of the times was for track and field, but it was for field because I made it for javelin, nothing else. That was fun. I have a I have a really cool picture from that. I like that picture. I really like it. I really like that picture. I need to speak clearly. Okay, um, a little, little bit about nationals. For cross country, it's just awesome looking at the starting line. It's like, it's so long. It's so wide. Um, I, okay, so with me, I grew up in track, and, and like, we measure things in meters, because that's what the rest of the world does. So I can envision, like, 100 meters, but I can't envision 100 feet. So, when people say, oh, about, like, 30 feet that way, I'm like, how much is even 30 feet? <laughs> like, okay, it's 10 meters, and I don't know, like, how long 10, 10 meters is, so I'm just kind of screwed, you know? Oh, about, like, you're about, like, 4 feet off. How much is 4 feet? I don't know. <laughs> you know? So, I'm kind of screwed for life. Not life, but, like, for a while. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, Nationals is, like, 200 meters wide, or maybe not 200, like, I, I think it's actually, like, about 100, 150 meters wide, um, which is, like, 400 feet, 450, I guess, ish, feet wide of a starting line, just to get all these kids lined up, and we're, like, in, like, a row, or, like, we're, like, two or three kids deep, um, so, like, you could be behind two other people at the start of the race, before the race even starts, like, yeah, so, it was, it's a big event, it's really fun, I have some sweatshirts from, uh, Nationals, um, yeah, so, wow, that, that was a long time talking about regional, sectionals, Nationals, yeah, a bit too long, um, the calf cramps got in the way of me going to nationals. So I think it was at, when I was at regionals. Um, I threw javelin. Like, uh, regionals that year was three days long. I had javelin Friday, 1500 meters Saturday, and 2000 meters Sunday. And I threw javelin on Friday. I felt okay. Then I really had some doubts about calf cramps and completely debated it in my head if I should even go or not. And I left it to, like, how I felt in the morning. And when I woke up in the morning, I was like, I'm not feeling it today. So I didn't, I stopped my season there. Like, I didn't even go to national, or, I think it, I think it was sectionals. So, like, I didn't even go to regionals for javelin. I just cut the season there. Because calf cramps would not go away, even during the practices. No matter what we did, and it, I couldn't run. It's, like, cramps are not what you think you, they are. Cramps are like tightening your muscle, and like you can't untighten them. Like you have no control of the muscle; it's just tight and like flexed. It's like constantly flexed, and it hurts terribly. And <laughs> yeah, so I used to think that cramps were just like, oh, my muscles sore. Like I, essentially, I thought like if your muscles sore, it's a cramp. Oh God, no, it's not that at all. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's not. If you're running, and your leg cramps, and you keep running, then it's not a cramp. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> so, unless you're, like, a beast, and, like, you can just, you're a sucker for pain, you can just take whatever, then, okay, maybe. <laughs> maybe it's a cramp. But if 
you're still running generally. It's not a cramp. Um, yeah, so that kind of just put a halt to everything. But the largest thing I realized is that I wasn't really having fun running anymore. Like, in the beginning, first couple of years, I had a blast. I met so many people. Not so many, but I met, like, a good amount of people. Like, ten... I mean, okay, I met the entire team. But I was friends with, like, ten. That's, like, a, that's a good amount of friends. And we just, like... We ran, we told stories, we had a good time. Because we were yo- little kids, so they didn't, like, care that much to make us better. Compared to, like, the older kids. Or, like, the better runners, you know? So, they weren't so strict on us. But then, like, as the years progressed, they started to be more, like, not strict. I guess, I mean, kind of strict, I guess. They started coaching us more. You know, because we were getting better. Um, so, that's when it, I started having less fun, I guess. Had to focus more on, like, the running aspect instead of, like, the socializing and having fun practicing with other people kind of thing. And then it just became hardly fun in high school because I mean first off it doesn't help that I'm being like such an introvert and not socializing at all um because that's just how I am um but you know that doesn't help but it still happens um like what the like not socializing not having fun things still happens despite like yeah um so when I stopped to look back at it, I was like, yeah, I'm not really having fun. Oh, I thought about all this last year. Um, last year, no, no, like freshman year, the end of track. I couldn't go to that year's track uh, nationals or couldn't try for it. Um, and then essentially what I had to do is I had to run cross-country again in sophomore year because I, like, said I would be back, of course, and stuff. Like, duh, I'll be back. You know, and I, like, <laughs> the team, I don't want to say they needed me, but they kind of, like, expected me to be back, I guess. You know? So I couldn't just, like, leave all of a sudden. I I was like, alright, I'm gonna finish the season. And then, like, my mom said, hey, I should finish the season. I was like, yeah, I already thought about that. I I know I'm I kn- I already knew I was gonna, um and yeah season finished like sad thing is a lot of people were like joking around like yeah you're gonna be captain next year you're gonna be the captain of the team and well here I am not being the captain of the team not even being on the team yeah so I kind of feel bad for I mean, kinda no I definitely feel bad for that um. But, I've heard that they're working, the coaches are working the uh, runners harder now. So, I mean, (laughs) is that because there's, okay, I don't want to say this, but there's not a me there. I don't think that's the case. But, like, if I was there, would they work them as hard? Or, like, would they have stepped up and worked them harder, like they are right now? I'm not sure. I mean, they should be, regardless of if I'm there or not. But, like, would they have, you know? Some people, sometimes, a lot of times, people do things that they shouldn't. Just because of laziness, or just because of many reasons, fear. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this wasn't having fun. And, like, uh, some parts were fun. But when I look back at the season as a whole, like, the negative feeling just compiled all completely outweighs the positive, you know? There's a lot of stress and a lot of worrying and stuff and not that much fun to make up for it. So, I left. I feel like you should, uh, like, things that, uh, I feel that things should only be done if you truly enjoy doing them. If not, you won't put full effort into it, which is a true waste of time. Like, if you're going to do something, put full effort into it. Or else you could be doing something else, putting full effort into it. Something that you enjoy. Something that, like, gives you something out of it. Instead of just, like, kind of doing it and not getting as much out of it and still taking up the same amount of time. You know? 
you can be improving this much, but then you, you do something else and you improve this, but you take the same amount of time. I, I don't know how to explain this. I hope you understand. Um, so I left because I was like, I'm probably not going to do this in college because I'm just not having fun. And I have both, like, music and this to worry about. And I'm thinking about stepping up the music next year because a lot of good seniors are leaving. And they're, I'm going to need to step it up. So, yeah, more responsibilities. There'll be more groups. And, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm in so many groups right now. If I were running right now, I'd be dead. I'd actually, yeah, not even be able to play Smash Bros. <laughs> That's a world I don't want to live in, is it? I mean, eh. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, so... I guess the moral of the story is... Um... Things can change. And... Do things that you enjoy. And that you're gonna put full effort into doing. That's the moral of my... I guess... Running career. Um... Like... Yeah. Um... Know that, like, something that might be fun once they're down the line might not be fun. Um, and, I mean, I'm not... I, I'm so happy that I did running. I think it definitely changed me as a person. I wouldn't be myself if I didn't run. And, like, I just met so many people, had... I have so many good memories from it. It's just that, you know, at some point, things have to end. You know? And... Yeah. Yeah, so that's that. 21 minutes. 22, whatever. Um, I actually had to... It was an assignment last year in English class. Um, sophomore year. Um, it was after I quit. And it was like, you have to write a story or something about... I don't know, it was like... You have to write two pages minimum. And it has to be about a subject. And you have to, like, incorporate these types of things into them, these forms of writing. Um, and I wrote it about my running career. And, um, yeah, so it's actually like eight pages long. <laughs> and I was like, the minimum's two, but I wrote eight. Wait, uh, <laughs> sure, just turn it in. Because right? she said it was okay if you did more than two. She said that she was like, she told the entire class, yeah, we, I understand, like, if, you, if it's like, very emotional or whatever, then yeah, I did cry a while typing it up, so, just a little bit, just a little bit, okay, not a little bit, uh, was it a little bit? It was not a little bit, it was more than a little bit, but like, it wasn't a lot, um, I think it wasn't a lot, it might have been a lot, I, I don't know, I forget, it might have been a lot, I still need to speak clearly, at some point, someday, I will speak clearer than my first video, yay, Hopefully. Um, yeah, so I think I'll leave um, a slightly edited version, or version in the description. Because, like, I don't want my last name on there. So you look me up. You can look me up. Or, like, I, I'm gonna edit. I, I already edited a little bit of it. Um, yeah, I took out some bad words. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll leave that in the description. You won't be able to edit or comment on it. You can look at it, though. You can read it. Um, yeah. Other than running and the Garden Grams crush thing, um, well, <laughs> my lower braces are actually, like, really cutting out my lip. Like, I have two pretty bad cuts. One of them is actually, like, looks like it, like, bleeded a little bit. But then, a little bit, at some point, like, it's not good. Um, I'm in pain. Every time I want to open my mouth to take a bite to eat, it hurts. And I'll, like, snag, and it's terrible. Um, so, hopefully my mouth doesn't get infected. That Oh, God, imagine that. Lip getting infected and trying to get, like, jaw surgery at some point. I mean, it's next year. and yeah, Whatever. Um... Yeah, so, that's still happening. The, uh, the montage, the Smash Bros. montage, I'm still gathering clips 
But I think that's just an excuse, because I just want to play more Smash Bros, and not, I want to use my time for playing Smash Bros, and not making a montage. Um, so that's my excuse. Um, though honestly, I have way more than enough clips. Like, all my clips put together, like, if you watch all of them back to back, without any editing or anything, it's like 18, min 18 minutes long. I have more than enough clips. I'm, I'm thinking about ideas, like maybe I'll spread out the clips, make several different styles, maybe, maybe make character-specific montages, but, you know, I'd rather just have it all in one big one. I might make it, like, part one, part two. You know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But uh, I have way more than enough clips. I should be starting to make the montage soon. Uh, also, yeah, so my schedule is still kind of packed. Kind of. It is still pretty packed. Um, yeah. Thankfully, we have mon this Monday off because President's Day. President's Day. Speaking clearly. Maybe. 26 minutes. Uh, yeah, so... Um, if you're a runner, good job. If you enjoy running, good job. <laughs> I mean, yes, good job, I guess. That's a weird thing to say to that, I guess. Um, if you actually enjoy running, well then, like, if you wholeheartedly do it, enjoy it, then, yeah, you should totally keep running. But, like... I don't want to discourage, I don't want to encourage people to quit, but I'm just going to say it's your, your decision to make, and anyone who, like, disrespects your decision is a prick. Like, screw them. <laughs> they, they don't deserve any rights to say your decision is right or wrong. You know, they, they can't make that decision for you. You alone can make the decision. That's what I did. And here I am, hey! But, um, yeah, you know, it's okay if you have to quit something that you spent half your life investing in. It's fine. You'll, you'll make it out. There, there will be tomorrow. Like, that's the big thing. Unless there really is going to be no tomorrow, like someone's holding a gun to your head or something. You know, something that extreme. Maybe there's no tomorrow. In that case, fight like there's no tomorrow. But, otherwise... There will be tomorrow. You will make it through it. You can cry. You can be angry. You can you can feel like it's the end of the world. But you will make it to tomorrow. Just remember that. That's the most important. That's not the most important thing. Not the most important thing ever. But like that's very important. Know that you will make it through this. Yeah. Moral of the story is yeah. Um, brush your teeth. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh. Don't be afraid to try to make some moves on your crush. <laughs> I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. Don't die of lower braces coming into your lip. Yeah, okay, I'm going to stop talking. I need to speak clearly. This has been the Laser Sloth. Have a good night.